Hey guys, it's been a while since we've done anything on Gypsy Rose and we thought we'd check out and see what's been going on. And we can't believe to see people are sw switching sides all of a sudden. We can't believe it at all. Two months ago, would you ever tell me that I would literally be talking to Gypsy mother, Gypsy's stepmother on a daily basis? And I believe that I was meant to have Fancy as a stepping stone to meet you. Gypsy Rose is not going to address this. Why? because she is a narcissist. Yep, Gypsy Rose herself messaged me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am shocked because Marzi and I, we aren't like that. No. Do you mean if we see something, we call it out. Yeah. We don't change our opinion because no, we're not yeah. friends with someone anymore. No, if, if I see something, like we, we've been watching Gypsy Rose, you know, we, we've seen what we see. We, we base our opinions on, on things that we see. On facts. Not, not on our friendship groups. No, exactly, 100%. You know I, mean? I mean, if I become friends with someone, they tell me my eyes are blue. I'm not gonna believe that. Brown. My eyes are brown. They're gonna yeah. stay brown. Sorry. Exactly. Unless she's wearing contacts. Unless she's wearing contacts, then yeah, we'll believe that. I don't but like contacts. Eh? Is the one thing that Gypsy's been consistent about. The one thing she's never changed is she couldn't do it, and she tried. She tried with the BB gun, and she tried that night. But hear me out. Thirteen little tiny jabs, and she tried. She tried. Okay, ready. Watch with me. One fling. Two. Flame. Two seconds. I want to say something for Christy and kind of get to say out there and, and show the person that she is without opening up a, a whole live of people. To, your, your daughter's a murderer. Your daughter's a murderer. And that she can come in here and, and show who she is as Wait, a person. I find it so interesting because, first of all, we had the whole Fancy and the whole Ryan saga. And they were such good friends. And we yeah. didn't realize they were only friends for a couple of months. I thought they were friends for a very long time. We didn't yeah. know, you know. And then, you know, she was so strong in her affirmations yeah. of this is what happened. Her convictions she were so solid. She had all these different points. She came mm. on. She's like, this happened, this happened. She had a timeline. She had her theories. I yeah. thought, oh, that's interesting the way yeah. she thought about things. But now, what, all of a sudden, that didn't exist? What no. were you Like, makes me think, were you lying this whole time? Like, what do you actually believe in? Don't hurt me, Gypsy. Five. Six. No, don't. Don't, Gypsy. She climbs off. As she climbs off, she holds to her mother. She's actually regretful now. Mom, I, I didn't know what to do, Mom. Yeah. Exactly. We don't flip our lids this quickly. So no. we were shocked by this. You know, and all of a sudden she's good friends now with Christy. Yeah. You know, Gypsy Rose's stepmother. And all of a sudden her opinions have completely changed. So, I like the fact that I've been able to kind of help Christy get a, to sit, get her word out there. All of a sudden it's that's It's not just changed. that. She's had such so much hatred. Like, we don't have that hatred. We no. don't have the hatred towards anyone. You know what no, I mean? No, no. But they had so much hatred towards Gypsy Rose. Yeah. And all of a sudden they did a backflip. Christy contacted her. Mm. And now, like, they're BFFs you know and I, what i thought was really strange guys is that she was such good friends with fancy she had contact with christy for just a few days yeah and she said that christy was more a friend to her than fancy had ever been and they only knew each other for a couple of days when she said this i'm yeah, like what the hell you don't know her no. you don't know her how can you trust her? you can't trust anything anyone says we trust each other because <laughs> we've been cousins all our lives. All our lives. All our lives, you know what I mean? <laughs> so we trust each other. You yeah, can't just trust someone within a month. I find and that even so though strange. we've known each other for so long, we have different opinions Exactly. Too. And we're not going to we change it because we're cousins. Because yeah. we're like, no, I believe this and no, I believe and that. Then, and then after that, Mars, <laughs> after Christy, Gypsy Rose's stepmother, contacting Ryan mm. and the whole flip, then all of a sudden Gypsy reaches out to Nina, the beauty influencer, and Nina changes her opinion. And then she's saying oh. she hasn't. No, she, she, she's backstepped a bit now. Yeah. She's got a, some flat for it. Yeah. But, you know, she's softened up. Mm. And I found that very interesting. I'll tell you something. Like, I'm trying to, I'm not trying to give anyone a hard time. You know I am. I know, mean? Marcy is. I'm trying to like, what the hell? Like, who are you mm. standing for? You can't give me these big facts. Like, not facts. These massive, strong, convictional opinions. Yeah. They damn near sawed her head off. My eyes are brown. My eyes are brown. Then the next day you're telling me, my eyes are blue, my eyes are blue. Or they're saying, your eyes are brown, but <laughs> within further inspections, they could be blue. Do you know what I mean? They're doing all this. Just I'm turn shocked. to the right, look down, yeah. maybe they're blue. Yeah. To get this light shining under here. <laughs> we don't understand it at all. Especially Nina, because Nina, every single day on my TikTok, she talks about Gypsy, how much she doesn't like Gypsy, every single day. And then yeah. all of a sudden she said, if you, don't, if you are only here for the Gypsy content, Go on by because I'm not going to talk about Gypsy anymore. Then the next day, Gypsy, 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 Gypsy. I'm like, oh my God, that's all she talks about. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, Gypsy reaches out to her and her opinion has changed. Do not tell me her opinion hasn't changed. But I don't think that you should be able to get 
money off of your crime. How else did you think she was going to survive financially? She had to set herself up for some type of financial success. It has changed. She's trying to soften everything down a little bit, you know. I'm going to find that she's not going to sit there and say how much she hates Gypsy again. She did. She went on about how much she doesn't like Gypsy. Yeah, she's saying, We've oh, never... it's okay now she's making money. You know? Yeah, because well, she's, she's taking accountability. Oh, she's taking accountability. Way, we don't believe that. She didn't that. take accountability no. until Nina mentioned it. Yeah. And then all of a sudden she's taking accountability. Why? Exactly. Because everyone's having a go with her. 100%. I take my responsibility for my part of the crime. She is clearly manipulating the internet. There was a lot of accountability in the DMs that she sent me. If Gypsy was honestly taking accountability, she would have taken accountability from the get-go. Yeah. From the get-go, she never did. No. She's all of a sudden had this awakening and taken accountability. Yeah. So I don't buy it. No, we either. can't be manipulated that easy, guys. No. We never will be. Even if someone reaches out to us, I'm sorry, we can't be manipulated that way. We just don't work that way, you know? Yeah. Um, so we're finding it so interesting. I hate when people switch sides. I hate when people go to the other per person. Just cutting in real quick, guys, because while me and Jodie Lee were editing this video, we noticed some new things happening, and I wanted to quickly update you guys. Now, it looks like since Nina has been on the whole gypsy bandwagon, she's received quite a bit of hate. And because of this, she has now backpedaled. Now she's saying, you know, she doesn't want anything to do with Gypsy anymore. She doesn't want to be involved with the drama. Something went down, but I feel like it's because she got a lot of hate because people at the end of the day, they don't like the whole hypocritical thing. So yeah, that's what I think. So she's now off the Gypsy bandwagon again. <laughs> so she's now changed the tune again. So there you go. So yes, I gave her the benefit of the doubt when she didn't deserve it. And that's my fault. But she showed her hand and I was able to see it. The next point I want to make is for Nina herself. I noticed you did a video complaining that someone used some of your content in their video. Now we've done that too, but I wanted to point out you yourself have done this. I've seen this in constant videos on your platform where you've taken other people's content. You've taken a lot of Gypsy's content. You know, you put that up there either as just an audio or sometimes you put the clip up and you use that to highlight what you're talking about or explain what you're talking about and that's what we're doing in our video today so i just want to point out you yourself have done this and you have put your videos on a public platform and people are going to use those videos so the mom posted a video i'm going to run the clip right now it's behalf concerning a project that she so if you're going to be upset that we've used your content for our video i hate to say it but that's just how it is it's a gossip channel we're gonna gossip about things. You're the hot topic. You should be happy. It's free advertisement for you, okay? To Nick on behalf of Gypsy. Watching this video reminded me that I needed to take my Adderall. But at the end of the day, that's what gossip channels do. You yourself do this. You gossip as well. You know, you love to spill the tea. We love to spill the tea. That's how it is. Tea. Real tea. Tea that you're gonna hear from me. That's what people do, you know, you get content and you talk about it. And as long as you're not passing it off as your own and pretending that it's yours, you're going to have to just deal with people talking about it. I'm sorry, that's just how it is. So yeah, I just wanted to say that, put that out there, you know, let you guys know the update, what's going on, and I'll let you guys get back to the uh, main video now. Also, guys, another theory that we're questioning as well is the whole Nick Godijon YouTube account. I thought it was a load of rot yep. right from the get-go because, for starters, the picture was a fake picture. It wasn't a real newspaper. I'm like, what is this? This isn't real. Mm. This isn't real. This account's just started yeah. out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. The person's a robotic voice. Exactly. It's not a real person. And you know what? They, they, they kept building it up. Oh, you're going to see. And they're patronising us. They're patronising us. The whole account was patronising us, you know, and telling this big spiel they're going to say something. They said nothing. They said nothing. It was a whole heap of nothing. So yeah. I went and I asked Nina, where did you get your information? Because she stated that the information that come from this NPG Nick Godijon YouTube account was true. Mm. was real. And I asked her directly. She didn't get back to me at all. She mm. completely ignored my comment and she'll say, I didn't see it. We're friends on TikTok. And when you're friends with someone, your message comes up first. She's completely ignored my questioning. Yeah. She didn't care to answer it. That's fine. You don't have to. I'm nothing. I'm a no one. But the fact is that you're so strong in your convictions that this was a real account. I found it weird nah, it's not a real that account. she found it straight away. Mm. I don't know. I kind of feel like maybe she made the account. Like that's a theory I'm thinking. I don't know. I, that's what I'm thinking. I think she made the account. I don't know. I don't know if she made the account. I, I haven't jumped to that just yet. I have. <laughs> Good for you, Mars. Because I felt it was weird only because she found out with, about it as soon as it was created. 
Mm. How could she find out as soon as it was created? I don't know. When when a YouTube account is first created, nobody knows about it. It's hard to find. We've it's tried hard it. to get your videos out there. We know yeah. we've done YouTube videos all the time. And to have an account established, it doesn't come straight away. No. You have to make a few videos. What the very first video they post mm. gets traction and is noticed by... Uh, influencer. Happens to be noticed by Nina. Yeah. I, I, I was very <sighs> sus. I find it very sus. so dodgy, And she didn't guys. say that somebody told her about it. She just found it. Mm. I no, find I that strange as well. It. I don't believe but it. But I feel like she's backtracking on that account as well. Before she was all like, no, this is definitely um, Nick Godijon's father or someone that's made this account. Yeah. And now all of a sudden she's not talking about it. Yeah. Marzi never believed it. I didn't believe it either, but so many people were saying it's real, it's real, it's real. And they got their information themselves. So I'm thinking, okay, well, if they're saying it's real. And I left a comment on there as well and no one yeah, got so back to I, me and so it was very I. negative the response <laughs> if you don't believe me then you know shove off comment similar to that yeah. response i'm thinking oh, i don't know i have no idea and they were just patronizing us this account was just patronizing us all they did was whinge that no one believed them yeah that people are, are talking about it without their consent. and if this like, is nick's representation then oh my god he yeah, needs exactly. new representation exactly. seriously guys he does yeah we don't work this way at all. No one can reach out to us and change our mind. We've always stood down the line. We just come to you with facts. We don't hate anyone, do we, Mars? No. No, we don't hate anyone, no, you know? No, we, We've never said we've hated Gypsy. We've never said we've hated Nick. No. We've just looked at the case on both sides. And saw and, the And, you know, force. we've criticised Nick as well. You can yeah. see our past videos before this whole everyone swapping sides. Yep. We've already done that. Yeah, we've already done well, that. we haven't swapped sides. No. We're just seeing what we see. If we see an inconsistency in someone's story, we show you guys with we evidence. We don't just make up rot. We will never make up rot. I want to know what you guys think of all this. Please, let us know in the comments because I'm finding it so bizarre. I, I feel like if I wait another month, someone else is going to swap their tune, you know? It's yeah. just strange. I'm curious to see how, because Gypsy's coming out with her new documentary. Yeah. How are they going to review it now? Oh, I want to know. I want to know. Are they going to see it objectively? Because mm. you can trust we will. Yeah, we will. 100%. So if when we, we see it, something that's contradictory, you we'll can bring bet it forth. We're gonna point it out and with say our it. own eyes, with our own eyes, yeah. not coming through someone else's eyes. Yeah, you know what absolutely. I mean? Hey guys, I'm gonna quickly jump in as well and say this. You know that NPG account that we mentioned earlier, that Nick Godijon account that's on YouTube? Well, we realized last night, we only found this out last night, that that NPG account is on TikTok. And guess what? They've blocked us on TikTok. They've blocked Anxious Ant on TikTok and there's no reason to why they'd want to block us. We've never said a bad word about Nick Godijon. We've always remained on the fence with the whole Gypsy Rose and Nick Godijon case. We've always remained on the fence and presented the facts to you guys. Being tipped on one side of the scale where I really wasn't getting much coverage. Well, we really don't believe that this Nick Godijon account is Nick Godijon. We believe it's someone else behind it. That's what we believe anyways. No, I'm not supposed to judge. So I'm not going to judge. Also, I want to say this. I really don't mind Fancy and Ryan. I love the content they put forth. I really enjoyed it. I didn't get to see much of their content because I'm too busy working, but also because when they went live, we're in Australia, different time zones, so we didn't get to catch a lot of their lives. That's where we're at. I know apparently our live was being streamed again. They worked very, very well together, so it's a shame that they're no longer working together. That's how I feel anyway. Buckle your seatbelts and grab your drinks. We're just finding it so interesting to see everyone flip-flop. Everyone change their tune at the drop of a hat. We don't do that, especially Nina. Especially Nina. That's all I have to say. There's, I've got a few thoughts on Nina. And who is NPG? I really don't believe it is Nick Godijon. I don't know who it is, but I do not believe it's Nick Godijon. And why would they block little old us? Why would they block Anxious Ant on TikTok? There's no reason for it. Very, very strange. Welcome to the game. Now let us know what you guys think about people switching sides. Are you cool with that or do you find it a bit hypocritical? Now myself and Jody Lee, we will always make sure to bring you guys the truth and stay objective whether we like the person or not. And we'll be doing just that when we review Gypsy's new documentary when it comes out. So make sure you check that out and we'll see you guys in that one.